Hey everyone, Forrest here with Fofo Astro, and today I want to take a look at the plan for my upcoming observatory build. So if you haven't looked at my first video in the series, definitely check that out. I'll link that up there in the corner. Um, but we talk a little bit about how I am planning on building a deck for a Next Dome observatory. Um, Next Dome is one of uh, probably three or four dome companies. Uh, they're the most affordable, the most kind of budget friendly option for people who want a dome. And that is what I've decided to go with with my observatory. It's going to be motorized in both rotation and shutter. It's going to be super awesome. I'm going to be able to operate it from my house. I'm going to take you guys along for the whole journey. But today I want to talk about the process of planning for the foundation of this observatory because next domes, they're kits. So, you know, you open up the boxes, you attach everything, you use a socket set and a screwdriver and build it all. Um, but you have to build a level foundation for it. And my build site is on a hillside. So I need to account for changing and slope and all kinds of things like that. So I'm going to take you guys along for the ride for the construction process in later videos. But today I want to talk about my plan and more specifically look at my 3D model for this observatory build. So what I've done is I've actually mocked up this observatory in a program called um, uh, Shaper. And Shaper is a, a program that runs on iPad. Um, I don't know if it runs on anything else, but for me I have an iPad uh, Pro and I have an Apple Pencil and I really like to use those for SketchUps um, of things. And you could use SketchUp um, as well, the actual program SketchUp on the computer. That's what I've designed my last observatory in. Um, or if you have access to something like AutoCAD, you know, whatever you can, a computer-aided modeling system will be really helpful for this. So here's my design and basically this is a kind of a top view. I really strongly wanted to make my deck circular and the reason is is that I don't have any bays I don't have any pop-out bays on my observatory so my next dome is going to be a perfect circle and when rain hits that perfect circle I really want the rain to just fall down the walls and then onto the ground and what a lot of people do with their next dome is they build it on a square deck well if you take a, a circular building and you build it on a square platform the corners of the platform are going to collect water and that water inevitably is going to egress underneath the walls of the next dome regardless of how well you caulk it and you're going to be dealing with all sorts of problems moving forward just with water getting in and how to seal the slats of the decking all that kind of stuff so I really wanted my deck to be the exact size of my observatory and that was a key design factor here so I went on next dome's website I looked at the the sketchups and I found that a radius, the radius of the next dome base is 44 inches. It's got an 88 inch diameter. So I built all of this with that in mind. Now, you can't just have an unsupported circular deck. So underneath my circular piece of plywood, and that's going to be treated three quarter inch plywood rated for ground contact use. Um, I'm obviously going to seal the end grain of the plywood to protect water from getting in uh, that does drip down the side of the building from, from getting into the end grain, the cut edge of the plywood circle. Uh, but underneath that I have an octagonal deck and the octagonal deck is supported by eight 4x4s four that will be sunk into the ground and concreted into the ground. So really firm foundation and then there's a 12 inch pier that runs up through that. So here's kind of my sketch. And this was just to visualize things, to visualize how the, um, how the layout of the octagon will work and how many pieces of wood I needed and things like that. And this was really just to kind of model this. Uh, but what's nice about SketchUp is you can do what's called a projection. And what that lets us do, let me turn off the 3D modeling layers. What that lets us do is come in and we can look at our model in 2D. And with this, we can check measurements and check things like that. So with this, I'm able to tap a dimension and I can see the lengths of all my different pieces of wood, how long I need to cut things, how things connect, how things are cut, what angles to cut them, all of that kind of stuff. And for me, this worked really well. Um, this, is, this is kind of my plan moving forward. I was able to mock this up, get this, get this kind of set, and then as we build it, I'll be able to refer back to this and see how the build goes as things go on. I'm planning on building the deck out of two by sixes treated because it's only an eight foot, at longest an eight foot span, not even eight feet from one support to the other support. So I think a two by six will be sufficient for that purpose. Um, so all two by sixes and then three quarter inch plywood, like 
I said, ground contact rated on the top. And then the um, supports going into the ground are going to be 4 by 4s And I'm basically just going to use this 3D model throughout the build process, referring back to it to make all my cuts and seeing how things go, um, laying it out. Obviously, there's a lot of digging involved with this plan. And, and I will say this too, this is definitely not a basic build. If you have very little building construction experience, um, I know this is going to be complex because it involves eight sunken posts all sunk to the right level with concrete. They all have to be plumb and level with one another in the right distance away. So if you're kind of new to building and you want to build a deck yourself, I would really recommend doing a square deck for your first um, deck. And again, the water issues are not going to be that big for me. I just really wanted water runs down the side of the next dome. It washes off the side and it hits the ground. It's not going to pool up in those edges. So that's the plan. That's how I'm laying it out. I'll see if I can figure out a way to get you guys this 3D model that I've built. Um, maybe it's just some screenshots. Either way, I'll link in the description what I come up with for this. However, I can share this with you um, so that you can try it and see. Obviously, watch my next videos so you can see if this actually works. I'd hate to say this is the plan and then you all do it and it doesn't work. So make sure you watch videos, you know, three, four, five, six, all the way through the process to make sure that this plan happens to work. But that's my idea. Circular deck, octagonal frame, treated everything, sunk into the ground below the frost line, which is four feet in my area. Um, I don't know if I'll put all eight posts below four feet. That's a tall order to dig that many holes, uh, but I'm going to do my best. So anyway, there's the plan. Check it out. I'll link it, what I can down in the description and then stay tuned for more of this build. Definitely hit that subscribe button if you guys want to stay up to date with the build process, the excavation process, the construction, the next dome process, motorization, all that stuff. We got to run data out there, electrical. There's a lot of things that have to happen and I'm going to bring you guys along for the ride. So hit subscribe if you want to. Definitely drop a like on the video. I really appreciate it. Leave a comment down below if you have any insight, suggestions, things like that, and I'll catch you all in the next video.